Hello. Something a little bit different for Halloween, perhaps? Today, we are going to show you how to make, how to dress up, basically, decorate three different treats for a Halloween party. Right now, we're going to make Oreo spider cookies, mummy bites, and mini pumpkins. Don't be spooked by the food. Found to make your spooky event even creepier. Okay, the first thing we're going to make is the cookie spiders. The cookie spiders are quite easy to make. First, you need to have Oreo cookies, preferably double stuff because they have thicker sides. You're going to need M&Ms for eyes. You need pretzel sticks for the legs. And then you need some kind of decorating icing to do the sticky stuff. Take your Oreo, there's one, four sticks, break them in half, do one at a time. Okay, and you're going to stick them in the sides, just like this. One. Two. Pick another one in half. Three. Four. Exciting, huh? Pretty exciting. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take some decorative icing. Put two dots. Two M and M's. I know. How about yellow eyes? Yellow eyes for this Oreo spider. One. Two. So what do you think? Think it looks like a spider? I think it does. So that's the first one. Okay, our second treat that we're going to make is called mummy pieces. You need a couple different items for that. First you need to have these pretzel pieces. They can have peanut butter like this one does inside or just regular ones. You're going to need white chocolate for melting. You're going to need black icing for eyes. But what I'm going to do to this is I'm also going to add a little peanut buttery goodness. Reese's Pieces for eyes. I'm going to put them right into a cup and melt it. I think it takes about a minute and a half to melt. So we're going to put it right in here into our microwave. It says to do this in 30 second intervals until you get a melted at 50% power until you get those chips to melt. And now that we have the chocolate melted and nice and smooth, Our pretzels, put them on a stick, get them all covered by the chocolate. And cover it with chocolate. So what you're going to do is you're going to cover them, try to use toothpicks, these are a little bit too big, couldn't find any toothpicks believe it or not. It's called, um, cover them with chocolate and then let them get dry and hard because the next step is to give them the eyes that they need to be mummies. So here we have our little mummy heads, all finished and the, the chocolate is all hard. You can either just put two eyes, lead from, Of course, use your artistic sense when doing this. I sometimes have artistic sense. Today, not so much. <laughs> I 
But like I said, the other thing you can do is you can... So they have their little eyes right now, little mummies. So right there you have something kind of cute. But if you want, you can give them M&M &M Reese's Pieces eyes, I would say. So that the flavors don't clash. I'll do one more in yellow. This guy. <laughs> so what do you think? Spooky enough for you? <laughs> for our final creation, the mini pumpkins, you're gonna need Skippy peanut butter bites, which are little round balls of peanut butter that are a little harder so they can withstand dipping. You're gonna need white chocolate again for melting. You're gonna need some kind of greenish candy, and here I found these watermelon ones. This should work pretty well. I'm gonna cut off the little green and make little stems for the pumpkins. And food coloring gel for the chocolate. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna take the chocolate we had left over. I'm gonna add equal parts of yellow and red and mix it together to get that orange that we're looking for. Here's our chocolate, orange. We're gonna dip these peanut balls into the chocolate, make sure they're nice and covered. And we're just gonna put them out one by one. One. Three. And so on. So just like our mummies, we're going to put these in the refrigerator and let them harden. I'm going to take these candies. First I'm going to cut off the green. Scarred of the rest. I wonder where that's going to go. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to cut little triangles. will make up the little leaves of the little pink pumpkins we're making. Okay? Okay. So here are our little pumpkins. After they've been hardened in the shell, the, 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 the chocolate has hardened. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the black, place it on top, right there. We're going to use it like a glue almost. And then I'm going to take one of these little leaves, Stick it right there. See? Do the same thing with all the rest of them. Dab of frosting. Looks like a pumpkin, doesn't it? Another one. There's really no way to mess this up. You're just approximating the way a pumpkin would look. Not actually making a real pumpkin. Won't last that long anyway. <laughs> it will soon be eaten by your party guests. See? Mini pumpkins. And tasty ones too. Thanks. The spiders are very easy to make. The other ones, although being a little bit more difficult because you have to dip in some melted chocolate, they come pretty well. It's one of my favorite. And here are the little pumpkins. Put them all together, and you have a lovely little treat for Halloween and your Halloween party. Enjoy. How's it going?